Well, I was really, really pleased with a lot of things tonight. Um, defensively, that was by far our best effort, not even close. Um, hold a team to 30 percent, force 21 turnovers. Do that. We'll, if we keep doing that, we'll keep winning. So it's all, it's all about trying to teach new guys what this game's about. You got to have your mind on all, or you got to have your mind offensively on taking care of the ball and execution. But you can't let that affect your defensive energy. Tonight, I thought we did a great job of that because we didn't make any shots, and we had uh, way too many turnovers. But we continued to defend. I thought, other than when we lost uh, number eleven a few times in the second half, uh, it was my biggest disappointment of the night. Um, he hit two threes where two veteran guys fell asleep on him. And uh, other than that, our defense was just off the charts. You know, as great as we were defensively last year, I don't think we held anybody at 37 points. And that's picking up full court on every possession as well. So, you know, offensively, when you don't make any shots, I think we made two threes super early in the game. Probably the last 35 minutes, we didn't make a perimeter shot. Team's just going to keep – when that happens, the defense just collapses more and more and more and more. And it's just so hard to get the ball inside. Uh, plus, we got a lot of new guys playing in a lot of – in a new offense, new offensive system, and they're all in different roles. And it's just going to take time for some guys to settle down. And that's where uh, we'll be a work in progress with that. But in the meantime, we got to keep our, our, our mind on what wins games. So I was really happy with that, really happy. Obviously, Octavius was tremendous in all areas. You still think this is going to be a much better offensive team, right? It's just a matter of getting into the system. Well, I think what, 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 I, what I try to mean by that is, see, when you evaluate your offense, if you can score inside, you can make shots, and you have two point guards that can make plays, Theoretically, you should be a better offensive team than if you're a, a predictable team. I think we have a chance to evolve into a team that can score inside, has shot makers, and two point guards that can make plays. Um, but we have, again, you got all these, you got guys have, A, they haven't played together, B, they haven't played in this system. So it's just going to take some time. And then, I, I, again, I, uh, we've been trying to focus on our overall development. I think it's going to be best for us in the long run. Instead of just doing one or two things and being predictable. But as the season, you know, as it goes on, obviously, they, I, I think you asked me this another time, Bill. As we get better uh, and as time goes on, we got to make sure we're figuring out ways to make to put the ball in our playmakers' hands, which would be Troy and Farad, and make sure we got our shooters spotted up and our big guys in the low post, and get into that in different ways. Very hard, ten points in the second half. I told you That's so. What you've been about. Yeah, you saw you saw it now. I mean, four steals is what I would talk about. See, that's why I tell our guys, you know, playing time and points are for friends and family. It's the sprint plan. And media. And media. Friends, family, and media worry about points. Coaches and, and players that win, teams that win, like the San Antonio Spurs, they worry about execution, defense, and rebounding. And that's why I was really happy with uh, the guys that were – Logged all the minutes tonight because they worried about de they they kept their mind on defense and rebounding even though our execution wasn't great and the ball wasn't going in the basket you know that that that's a danger zone for a young team you can panic and start and get frustrated which I thought that's why Jermaine and Shaq both lost number eleven because I thought their mind was on their offensive struggles that neither one of them had a basket instead of just worrying about playing defense. Gary, is it a matter of I mean, not thinking as much or trying to be perfect? No, he played harder. Played. This game's not that complicated. He played a lot harder. You get four steals, you get four layups, that's eight points. It's not like you're making post moves. <laughs> or you get offensive rebound, lay it in. You know, not going to get it, though, if you're resting. Thought he, play, he played a lot harder. But he had a really good week of practice. You know, we, got, we get 19 points, really, out of one position. 
guys. Correct. I'm not. All, I, I just want those guys to worry about defense and rebounding. You know, if you're trying to force the action and you're hurting us def defensively, and you're turning the ball over. You're not. It, it, there's the competition. There's other. There's too much competition for playing time on this team. You gotta have guys with their mind on the right thing. So I'm, the production I'm interested in for the nine, 90th time of the press conference is defense and rebounding, and then not turning the ball over. It'd be nice to get an offensive rebound when you're six six or six seven. That was the answer for Gary Clark. But again, you know, it was hard to get us really get going on the offensive glass because you don't make any shots the whole second half, and it's hard to spread them out. So that puts them in defensive position all the time. We were just a second or two or too late on a lot of post up passes, and again, that's just uh, lack of comfort on our part. You got to be able to throw it to him when he's open. You wait another second, he'll say he's not open anymore. But, but the thing you really wanted to see tonight was defense. Yeah, that's my biggest concern with our team because we just haven't played together as a unit. And defense is all about togetherness and toughness. And you got to play connected defensively. And you got to play with tremendous energy. You can never, you can't, like well, I tell our guys, defense is like boxing. You can't, you drop your hands, you're getting knocked out. So when you're off the ball, you got to be alert. When you're on the ball, you got to be in a stance, and you got to constantly be in, in, in connected to your teammates at all times, smelling out what the other team's trying to do against you. Um, so the guys did a great job with that. If you do that, you're going to win a lot of games. We're not going. I don't. We can talk all we want about offense, and we give up 37 points a game. I like our chances this year. What's that? These teams will score more than 37. No, they got 37. I know, I'm saying. They got 30. We didn't get 37. If you get 38, you'd be hurt. Then we win. That's all I'm concerned about. That's all I'm concerned about. That's all I'm concerned about. I'm trying to deflect where you're going so because I want my fan base. We don't need to talk about our offense, and we don't need to talk about people that aren't here anymore in production. We just need to worry about becoming the best team we can become and getting better every day. And then what's going to happen, we're going to have another press conference and we're going to score a lot of points and we're going to say, oh, is the offense clicking now? No, it was just one game and it's going to be another game. It's different game to game, depending on how you play. You know, you got to make some open shots. I think I do, I got to do a better job. What I would tell you is I got to make sure we're getting the ball inside. And I don't think we got enough, got the ball inside enough. However, I got to do that. I got to make sure it's happening, and then we can play from there. We just we just didn't get enough post touches, and we do in practice. I think that's what threw us off the most when we weren't getting them. We ended up uh, playing around the perimeter too much. So our big guys can pass, but we put them in a lot of bad positions. So we didn't get Corey one post touch when he was in there. Like when he checks in the game, we got to get him the ball. That's why he's in. You can't stop him down there. He gets in the game and he's spreading out. He's hard to miss now, but we don't have guys looking for him. But we will clean it up. But in the meantime, our effort was great. And that's where I'm focused. Defensively, are you getting some of what you want from Gary and Octavius in terms of being able to, to switch some things and play out on the floor? And I thought they did, they did great with that tonight. You know, Octavius, I, or uh, I told Quad, he, he, he led the the country and blow bys in our exhibition games. Uh, he got he got to learn to keep his feet away and not try to get up there. And he's got really quick hands, okay. And his high school coach is one of my best friends in coaching, and he has absolutely no hair because of quadri and is reaching in. I'd like to you know save what my little I have left. Sammy says I need to keep it, so he's he can't have any more blow bys. He likes to get up there and reach in, which he, you know, but he did a good job tonight. He played with discipline tonight on the defensive end. He did a really good job. She's guarding smaller guys all the time. 
It's not, you know, it's not, I don't care who you're playing, guys. That's not easy to do, especially against a veteran team. What we did tonight on the defensive end. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. St. Francis at 37 at home. I say that's solid on a defensive end from us. What do you think the difference was? Well, I have uh, 14 deflections. Gary had deflections. We had 40 deflections by the end of the game. Uh, we was rotating well, uh, and we filed a scouting report. Not a lot of open shooters got got the shots that they wanted. We was uh, making them mess up on their plays. They didn't get to their spots like they wanted to. That kind of helped us out on the defensive end. Octavius, how much easier are things on you with Gary starting to play a little bit better there as, as he got more comfortable? Um, does that kind of open things up for you as he starts to get things going? Yeah, I mean, as long as everyone's on the same page, then our defense should be good because coach's whole philosophy is steal the ball. And, well, his whole philosophy is defense and toughness. So. Gary, he's coming along. He's getting more in shape. He's been working out with Mike. So he's coming along very good. Is that the way he played in the second half? Is that what you've seen from him more in practice? I mean, that's what we've been hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing playing the passing lanes and being aggressive. Yeah. Offensively, first half was pretty smooth, Troy. You seemed to bog down a little bit in the second half. Any particular reason or shots not falling or? Uh, shots what wasn't falling. The first half was smooth, but I feel like we was more aggressive in the first half, uh, first home game. You know, we came out with a lot of energy. We was hyped up before uh, halftime. <coughs> halftime wasn't bad, but after, they kind of knew what they was doing. They started, you got to give it to St. Francis. They followed their scouting report well. Um, they loaded the box. All five guys was in the box. You know, our offense ran through our big, so kind of uh, struggled. We had to find different ways to score. You know, a couple of possessions we went through, played uh, possessions where we didn't score, and um, we had to adjust to better ways of coming off the pick and roll and stuff and finding them in the, the uh, big men posting up. Two or 14 from three, obviously, can't continue because then teams are going to continue loading the box. It was a, I wouldn't say a bad shooting day, but you know, not everybody hits every night. Um, we just got to tell our shooters, keep shooting, you know, next shot, keep going. Um, and we got to get in the gym late night, have to practice, get shots up. We need that, that's a part of our offense. We got shooters now, so. We're going to be straight. We're going to um, figure out like late night works. We got an off day tomorrow, so we might get get uh, the shooters and we might go in for like an hour, get some shots up, and then keep it going. But that's our main thing, just get shots up. Just get a routine, a repetition that follows the same way. Is it any different for you if this was a real game? You've been here before, but this is the, the first regular season game. And what, yeah, there were more people there in the atmosphere. Is this what you remember? Yeah. This is my first, actually, when I first played here, I played in the first two exhibition games, and, and that week I had got redshirted because because of my hand. I had got medical redshirt, but yeah, my first college game, it went well. It wasn't, I mean, it was my first college game. I'm excited to be back. So, so you never played in a regular season game? Yeah, I never played in a regular season game. This is my first time. Were you nervous at all? Yeah, a little bit. I had butterflies a little bit. Anything else? How important is he to you guys, especially defensively, as he's starting to, to come in to understand and how to be back there? I saw him a couple times. Tell guys, don't foul. Yeah, I got it back here. Yeah, he's a big part. He's, he reminds us just like last year, Justin Jackson. Wall him up. Go beat it at the top of the square. No game. Uh, when you attack, wall him up. Don't foul. Out coming from the weak side. He can wall people up at six ten. Uh, Deflections, he gets big time deflections, passing lanes, and we can switch. With uh, him and Gary in, we can switch all pick and rolls. Um, they keep their feet away, and they're both long and lengthy, and they got good foot, uh, footwork. So um, I feel like Ock and Gary both are big factors, especially him with switching and weak side uh, rotation and blocks off the, off the backboard. They get the message? Yeah, tell a couple guys. Yeah. I got it. I tell them every day in practice the same thing. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.